Yet another psychiatrist says that the evidence of Trump's dementia is, quote, overwhelming. Remember, we spoke to Dr. John Gartner a few weeks ago who says there is a neurological smoking gun here. And now we have yet another medical expert who says the same thing. This is from Newsweek. There is, quote, overwhelming evidence that Donald Trump is suffering from dementia. A leading psychiatrist claims Dr. Lance Dodes, a supervising analyst emeritus of the Boston Psychoanalytic Society and Institute and retired Harvard Medical School professor, was among those recently quoted by duty to warn with duty to warn, quote, unlike normal aging characterized by forgetting names or words, Trump repeatedly shows something very different. Confusion about reality. And this reference is Trump confusing Obama with Joe Biden. And he goes on. If he were to become president, he would have to immediately be removed from office via the 25th Amendment as dangerously unable to fulfill the responsibilities of office, writes Dodes, who's also a distinguished fellow of the American Academy of Addiction Psychiatry. In another statement put out at the same time, New York psychologist Suzanne Lachman said Trump would, quote, seemingly forget how the sentence began and invent something in the middle, resulting in an incomprehensible word salad frequently seen in patients who have dementia. The article also quotes John Gartner, again, who I spoke to a few weeks ago, uh, who says that uh, Trump is showing, quote, unmistakable signs strongly suggesting dementia. Jason Miller, senior advisor to the Trump campaign, says it is Biden who's having the problem, saying Joe Biden is clearly suffering from cognitive decline and couldn't answer the first five questions of a cognitive test or any test for that matter. You know, uh, I am not going to weigh in beyond telling you what it is that the medical experts are seeing because they are the medical experts and I am not. But one of the things that I would be bracing for is the narcissistic collapse, for lack of a better term, that is imminent if and when it is determined Trump just can't afford the bond. He just can't afford it. He's not going to be able to pay the bond that he may have to mortgage his properties for or they might be seized. It truly seems as though the guy is on the brink of snapping. And one of the things we've been observing casually, colloquially as non-medical experts is that the decline seems to be happening more and more and more quickly. The frequency, it used to be once a rally and then twice a rally. And then all of a sudden, eight, 10, 12 times a rally, Trump disoriented, saying Biden beat Obama or Nikki Haley was responsible for security on January 6th. If Monday pans out the way that it might, either with the final determination that Trump can't make bond, possibly with Letitia James starting to seize Trump's properties. I assume that the decline is going to be even faster and he has months of campaigning to do on top of all this. How is this even remotely viable? How is this even possibly going to work? I don't know. But when you ask the Magapotamians about it, the Magadonians, uh, they say everything's fine and Biden doesn't know what day it is. You make of it what you will. I have been tracking my genealogy for years, and the service I've always used to put my family tree together is MyHeritage, which is why I asked them to be a sponsor. MyHeritage is the number one family history service because of how easy they make it to discover your origins and relatives with over 19 billion records. You don't need to know anything about genealogy. Just let MyHeritage do the work. For example, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see their instant discoveries feature here lets me add an entire branch of 28 people connected to my great great grandfather to my family tree, all with their info and photos. I found all kinds of amazing, unexpected things. We found this incredible photo here of an immigration record from the US Canada border crossing for a relative born in 1895. I had no idea about this. It is super interesting. I'm showing some more of my discoveries here. It just connects you to your roots, where you come from. It's also given me a lot of quality time with my family showing them these discoveries. You can try my heritage totally free for 14 days. Go to davidpackman.com slash my heritage. The link is down below.